Hey there, Eva here from Women Blazing Trails. Welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about 10 things that too many of us learn too late in life. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I hope you enjoy this video. We are going to get right to it. Let's go. Number one, health is wealth. You could be the richest person on the planet and it doesn't matter if you don't have your health. If you don't make time for your wellness now, you better make time for your illness later on in life. That means your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual, emotional, all of that. If you are rich and have millions of dollars, then as you get older, if you haven't taken care of your health, you're just a rich, sick person. So number one, health is wealth. Number two, no is a complete sentence. You don't have to say no, I'm sorry, or no, apologize, or no, give an excuse. Just say no. How many times have you said yes to somebody and at the end of the day, you go home or you're lying in bed and you're like, oh man, I wish I would have said no to Betty or Susan or John or Margaret. Learn to say no and walk away without apology or explanation. And when you say no to people, you first of all, you say yes to yourself. But you also give other people an opportunity to help because people do love to help, but you don't have to be, you don't always have to be the only one helping. So don't forget, say, practice it in the mirror. Learn to say no without apology or explanation. Number three, hurt people, hurt people. If you've been hurt by somebody recently, you just have to understand that they have pain and anger and hurt, frustration inside of them. And this is how they handle which is poor but we all do it this is how they handle the pain inside of them they project it onto other people which is you and too often we hurt the people that we love and i'm guilty of that too i'm no saint but that's what happens with hurt people if they don't deal with the demons that they're battling inside of them so next time somebody hurts you just send them love and wish them well and pray that they that they heal and deal with the demons that they're battling deep inside of them. So please don't forget that when somebody is hurt, they will hurt you. And it has nothing to do with you, but it has everything to do with the pain that's inside of them. Number four, failure does not make you a loser. And I remember I learned this lesson a long time ago because I failed a million times in my life. But every time I failed at something, it's just made me stronger. We are not perfect and we all make mistakes and things don't work out the way we want them to. I've had a failed business. I've had failed relationships. I've had a failed marriage. I mean, we, I've had so many failures in life and we all have. And it doesn't make you a loser. Take that failure. And I really don't like the word failure. Take that failure or that mistake and just use it as a stepping stone to help you grow stronger and learn more things. So number four, failure does not make you a loser. You're not a loser. Number five, happiness comes from inside of you. We can't expect people to bring us happiness. We can't expect people or things or events or anything like that to bring us happiness and joy. They will bring you temporary happiness. I will say that. Like you could buy this beautiful purse today and it makes you so happy. And then in a year from now, you find that you're bringing that purse to a secondhand store because that purse brought you happiness at that time, but it was just temporary happiness. If you're not happy, you need to dig deep down inside and find out where your pain is and where your misery is and work on that because you are the only person who can bring you happiness. People, events, things, places, nothing can do that for you, just you. You are in control of that. So happiness comes from inside, not from other things. Number six, I had to count my fingers, that's hysterical. Number six, uh, you show people how to treat you. And this is a really tough pill to swallow and I learned this the hard way. If people are treating you like crap or disrespecting you or bullying you, manipulating you, uh, any of that kind of stuff, that's because you've allowed them to treat you like that. And we allow people to treat us like that because we come from a place of low self-esteem, low self-worth, no self-respect, low self-confidence. So once you start working on, on building all those things, sorry, my cat is doing gymnastics in my closet. So once you start working on building up your self-confidence, self-worth, self-love, self-respect, and all those things, then you're going to show people how to treat you. So don't be mad because John treated you like shit. You let John do that to you. And I've done that a thousand times, but we're letting people 
cross our boundaries and, and treat us like doormats. So when you learn to set boundaries and learn to heal inside of you and build all yourselves, then people will see that and they'll start treating you better. Number seven, <laughs> gratitude is a magnet for miracles. And I love this because I just started truly practicing daily gratitude probably about like 10 years ago. And I'm not saying my life is perfect, but I've learned when I inject gratitude into my morning routine that I can handle whatever the day ha uh, throws me. And I'm also very grateful for all the little things and all the little blessings in my life every day. My morning coffee, my bed, my cat, my home, you know, the water that I have, my electricity, all of those things. So instead of whining and complaining about all the horrible things that are happening in your life, you hate your job, you hate whatever, whatever, instead of complaining about all those things, just start, be, just start being, practicing to be more grateful for the things that you do have instead of complaining about the things that you have that are bringing you misery or that you don't have. Gratitude is truly a magnet for miracles. Number eight, life is short. It's easy to think that we can do things tomorrow or I got all kinds of time, but we don't. You don't have lots of time. We don't know when life is going to be over. And we don't, too many of us, just procrastinate and put things off. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. Sometimes tomorrow never comes. Don't forget that life is so short and it's important to embrace your life, live your life to the fullest, be bold, be brave, do things, be yourself, and enjoy life to the fullest. Number nine, everything is temporary the good and the bad. If you're going through a really poopy situation right now, it'll end tomorrow, next week, next month, in a year from now, you won't even remember it. Things are, people are temporary, things are temporary, nothing lasts forever. So don't get too caught up in whatever crap you're going through right now, or whatever kind of drama or anything you're going through. It's going to be, it's going to be over soon and you're going to come out a better person. So don't worry about everything. Everything is temporary, the good and the bad. And number 10, the final one, and I think of probably the one of the most important ones is you can't control people. You can't control events. You can't control things. The only thing that you have control over is yourself and how you react to things. You cannot expect people to do something or act a certain way or behave a certain way or change or anything like that. You have no control over anything but yourself. And once you learn this life lesson, your life is going to be so much easier. I promise you that. Stop trying to control things. Let go of control and just let things and people unfold and act just the way they want to and just be happy with in your own skin and with who you are. So those are my 10 life lessons, well not life lessons, 10 things that everybody learns too late in life. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to do a little bit different fun editing with this one, so I hope you really liked it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do upload every Sunday. Um, and I also upload, I'm trying to upload daily shorts. So please don't forget to check that out. Click the notification, the notification bell. Why is that word so long? Click the notification bell uh, to, so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Goodbye for now.